Hey guys, it's by Zelp here. Welcome back to the channel. And another week, and it seems yet another software update. Apple continues to stay on top of iOS releases to fix as many bugs as possible to provide a better user experience. And I'm really loving the new software updates. This one contains about five important bug fixes, and we'll get to those in just a few seconds here. Of course, iOS 15.0.2 has just been released by Apple today. Now, this one did not go through any beta testing. This one is available for everyone as of right now. And aside from iOS 15.0.2, Apple has also released today iPadOS 15.0.2 is now available for iPad users and watchOS 8.0.1 is now available for download as well. Again, no beta testing. It is out for everyone as of right now. Now, let's take a quick look here at the build number before we start talking about some of the latest improvements with the latest software. Here is the build number. It's going to be 19A404. Four, and that's going to be the latest build number for iOS 15.0.2. And of course, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, this software update, as I mentioned, brings about five improvements to iPhone. Now, the first one I want to talk about is an issue that some users were encountering. So, for example, if someone wants to send you a message through iMessage and you saved an image that was sent to you via iMessage and and then you deleted that message it would actually delete the photo from the photos album in your application inside of your iphone which was an interesting bug i never encountered this one but apparently a lot of users were encountering an issue where they would receive a photo or an attachment deleted from the messages and it will delete from the photos application now another issue that apple is looking to address is within the find my network here now apple has added find my ability to the uh, magsafe wallet that you can buy for your iphone 12 or iphone iPhone 13 that you can attach to the back of your iPhone. Now, if you were to pair that wallet to your iPhone, it seems like some users were having issues uh, connecting to the wallet, not being able to find it. Of course, Apple wanted to fix that. So if you're using the MagSafe leather wallet from Apple, you can now safely pair it and connect to the wallet. If you lose it, you can find it very, very easily. Now, some users were also encountering some issues with AirTags. Apple has now addressed this particular issue with AirTags. I did encounter this issue myself so especially with my dog's air tag wasn't found uh, constantly so it looks like some users were encountering this issue as well so air tags may not appear in the find my items tab network as uh, no location or not found and, uh, and apparently this software will fix that issue i will continue to report on this as time goes by now for those of you that do use carplay apple has also addressed certain bugs within carplay i know a lot of you guys have been commenting about this one now this software update brings improvements to carplay carplay may fail to open any audio apps or entirely disconnect when uh, playing uh, any music or just using GPS. So any users that are encountering issues with CarPlay, uh, disconnecting, connecting issues, or simply just stopping the music when you're listening to music using CarPlay, this one addresses those particular bugs and situations for you guys using CarPlay. I uh, would like to hear from you in the comments down below if you were having these issues. If you do update, how's the software, uh, if it has improved or not. And last but not least, I want to talk about uh, the final bug that Apple is looking to address with iOS 15. 0.2 and that is devices that restore or update using Finder or iTunes, specifically iPhone 13 models, would fail to restore. So Apple has addressed this particular issue. So if you were attempting to update an iPhone 13, uh, any of the iPhone 13 models using the Finder on the Mac or iTunes on the PC and your iPhone would get stuck, this particular software update should address those particular issues. And that's pretty much it. As I mentioned, about five new bug fixes and improvement with iOS 15.0.2. I like when Apple continues to stay up to date with the latest bug fixes to improve the user experience overall let me know what you think in the comments down below are you going to be updating to the software how's your experience if you did update to the software thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace